Hello beautiful and amazing people. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amita Misha and I am speaking right from Kampala, Uganda, East Africa. For those of you watching me for the very first time, you're most welcome. Kindly be a part of this very beautiful, humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you'll come across on this channel. Otherwise, I hope you guys are doing great and I hope that God is protecting all of you in today's video i'm going to give you guys a house tour but i'm going to give it to you in bits today i'm going to show you the sitting room area and then next time i'll show you the bedroom and then the kitchen and then the bathroom why because i don't want this video to be very long because there is just so much for you guys to see and know so why am i doing this video as always, you people know all my videos and make sure you us learn one or two things from the video. And same applies to today's video. Number one, I want to encourage us. I want to encourage everyone out there. And then number two, I want you to know that everything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. You put your all to it. For those of you who don't know, I moved out of home in December and started staying alone. That is a decision I made without any consultation from anyone. Once you make such a decision, um, there are so many ch challenges awaiting you. The question in my mind was, how am I going to put everything in the house? Because trust me, I had, I had not so much. I, I didn't have a lot, but then, um, I was facing challenges, like I've been having uh, challenges with finances for the past, I think, I think the past 12 months. It hasn't been easy for me, but um, God is faithful. That's all I want you guys to, to learn from this video. God is faithful. God will always provide for you. Uh, no matter how small, God will always provide. Don't ever lose hope. Don't ever fail to do something try to procrastinate it because you think it's not going to be possible for you to achieve it no go for it and know that god is going to come through for you no matter allow me to show you guys how this house looked like the very first day i paid for it i will call you a pioneer this here that i feel so strong you discover there's a hot hair been empty for all oh so long so baby come and furnish i've never to my life refurbish i do lots of blood to bumper burns so it works never ending surface yeah so guys um eventually a week later i entered into the house but you guys hmm? i felt like the house was still as empty as i had entered it because i didn't have much yeah but again, that didn't stop me. I'll, every time my friends wanted to come and check on me, I'll be like, guys, come. I would not even tell them what they are to expect. But every time people came here, they'll, they'll be like, eh, the house is so empty. You guys. But you know what? I never at any one moment felt sad about it because I knew my God is going to provide. And these are just challenges that will at one time phase out. So allow me, guys, show you. A clip of how my house looks like I think three weeks after I had entered this house so guys this is my sitting room this here is like my couch this is where my visitors sit and watch TV yeah at least I have a TV to watch news to you know get entertained and all that uh, these are some beautiful wall hangings this is my mother yeah this is my sweet mother <laughs> So, yeah, this is all. And then this is my curtain. Yeah, this is my door curtain. <laughs> Aha, I didn't show you this. So I don't have a table stand, so I use this box. Hmm, embarrassing, right? I use this box to to to, to keep my, this, um, what is this? An extension, yes, for the TV. And then this is my Go TV. Yeah, this is where I put the things that I would have put on a stand. But I'm still happy though. I'm not complaining, despite the fact that I want better. But I'm not complaining. This is how brief my 
sitting room looks like this is how brief it is that's all so guys that is how i stayed in this house for about four to five weeks until i started buying a few things in the house as per now i am still buying other things because like money doesn't come at once today you have tomorrow you don't have so you just have to put your things together and they're like okay now this is what i need i'm going to start saving for this for the next maybe two weeks or three weeks i'm going to save for this and then for the next this i'm going to do this you know until your house is what you want it to be i faced a challenge with service providers you guys service providers are very disappointing like so so disappointing not one or two like they are almost all the same i don't know what is wrong with ugandan service providers i don't know these guys don't deliver you you give him what you want and it gives you totally something totally different from what you asked for and yet they overprice you you know so that was also a challenge so you just have to endure and you know just take what they've given you and and deal with it and then another thing i want you people to, to know is that you know things are expensive here in kampala so if you think you're just going to enter a house and buy everything okay there are people who have money yeah? there are people who are who are doing well so like it's a walkover for them like they'll just enter a house and fully furnish it with everything but to us who are struggling every other day to make ends meet even struggling to find something to eat and all that like things will not come as easy you have to just keep hustling and then yeah keep buying the things one by one until your house looks like what you want it to look like so as per now the house is not complete like it's not what i want it to be but with time i'll be showing you a complete look of the house so without wasting any time let me show you how the house looks like okay before i show you how the house looks like let me show you where i bought these things from okay so guys i bought the curtains from a friend who follows me on youtube yes i felt good supporting him because i would want to support people that are in my life or people that support me as well why would i support somewhere else and if there is somebody who is supporting me as well so this guy always watches my videos on youtube like he'll when you when you meet him he'll always tell you everything that like there is this video you did i didn't understand this one i didn't understand this person i i, I love this video blah 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 so he watches all my videos so i felt good supporting him they have a company called come again they sell curtains and i think other other things but when i went there i i only saw curtains and maybe pillows and all that but i love their curtains so I decided to support them and i felt good about it first of all i put them on pressure i didn't put them on pressure but i gave them just one day to deliver because i bought the material and then they had to turn it into the curtains that i needed and i only gave them one day actually just 24 hours for them to do everything and they delivered i was so impressed with their work you guys will comment down below and tell me if they did a very great job i'll be leaving their contact here because they didn't give me any hard time yeah they didn't give me any hard time and then uh i bought the carpet from from what's that place called from uh chiembe yes i bought the cut i mean the cut the the carpet from chiembe i went there personally so i don't know if they overpriced me or something but they charged me three hundred thousand. so you guys should comment down below and tell me because this guy was telling me 330 and then i refused then he stuck on three hundred thousand and didn't want to leave that and the time was going and i just needed to come back home so just bought it and then for the chairs 1.5 the reason why um i'm so mad i'm not i'm not going to leave this guy's uh contact because up to now he has not fulfilled some things he has not delivered some things some pillows are missing and he promised he would deliver them like a week ago he has never delivered i call him it never picks my calls now he made the chairs higher than i wanted them he promised to come and reduce them he has never showed up you guys this guy has he he I, okay 
I don't know. He did a good work. He, his work is amazing. But the whole point of you don't pick up a client's call. I mean, like you're tossing the client here and there. Some things you've not delivered. There's some things you've not done right. And the client wants you to complete all that. The client has given you enough time and you're not even bothered. So I feel like I will, unless you guys ask for his number, I'm not going to leave his number here. But if you guys really want him, because I wouldn't want to recommend someone and then you guys complain about them his prices are not so bad like very bargainable but customer care poor very poor so what else basically that is it and then the the stand the worst carpenter ever i'm going to show you guys what i wanted then you guys are going to see what he delivered totally different from what i wanted this is what i wanted here but he delivered something totally different so you guys as for now that's all about the house i'm going to show you the video in a few but with time there are so many changes i want to make there's so many things i want to you know get into the house but with time i'll be showing you the complete look of this sitting room you guys should enjoy this video i'll come back here to say bye to you guys i love you i will call you pioneer this here that I feel so strong You discovered there's a hot hair Been empty for all oh so long So baby, come and furnish I've never to my life refurbish I do lots of clutter, bumper burns So it works a never-ending surface, yeah It's the way you call it, my mountain, my one no end, no end. It's the way color my mother my wand. No end, no end. From the crown on my head to the soles of my shoe. Got my love for you is pure. Landlord, I like what I'm sure. So be comfy and secure. Faithy full form I'm skin and girl but I walk like a giant Yes, anointed as queen who's defiant And I chill in the mountain of Zion How is it you can take my power? How is it you can bring me to silence? Ninkala ningo sekelela Kwati nili neka In the battle with the violence you can call the shots Monga Refu Abola. Hey, nickname Mati Chitumbua. Coco Lassi Kelo, you are my Coca Cola. Iwe waliwa vita meni Kwati goji si puro Pronto menta meni Natural bleach no skin Baby girl you a winner It's a week So guys, that is it about the house tour. Sorry, the sitting room tour. Um, next, I'll be showing you the bedroom tour, the kitchen tour, and the bathroom tour. If you guys want it. If you don't want it, kindly tell me down below so that I don't bother. Otherwise, I'm forever grateful for all of you who take your time to watch my videos. I'm super, super grateful because... It is because of you that I'm still standing. If you guys weren't watching my videos, then I would have given up long, long time. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.